lavish. What is the best gift you've ever received? Dolly's my favorite gift of all. Oh, I should have known that. I've never seen you without her. So, who gave you Dolly anyway? She's my very best gift because my first mother gave her to me when I was born. My mama told me all about it. No, wait a minute. You said your first mother and your mama. Explain that to me. Word bird, I was adopted by mama. I call my real mother first mother. And when I say mama, I mean the mama who adopted me. Oh, I remember. You are adopted. So it was first mother who gave you Dolly. That's right, Word Bird. That's why she's so special to me. Lavish, when people ask Jesus to come into their hearts, they're adopted into God's family, and they call that being born again. Do they get a dolly? <laughs> no, Lavish. But God does promise to be the provider. God is even called by, that, by a name that means provider, Jehovah Jireh. I like that better than first daddy. <laughs> <laughs> glad I asked you to read that new sign for me, Word Bird. I would have gotten hurt if I didn't have a friend who could read. Brightly, I've always wanted to be able to paint with my wings like you. But since this time, I'm glad I could read, too. Ooh, I would have gotten my wings blown clear off, Word Bird. I had never even heard the word demolition, let alone known how to read it. I was about to fly right over those rocks. I wonder why they were dynamiting those rocks. Ooh. Well, this morning when I was having tea with the beavers down by the river, I heard them saying that the farmer nearby needed a creek to run across his land to water his sheep. Oh, then those rocks must have been keeping the flow of the water away from the farmer's land. Ooh, yes. And you know what word bird God used you today to keep those rocks away from my wings? 
I'm glad God is using that farmer as a shepherd for those sheep. He's doing a good job herding the water to them. Soon there'll be rocks out and water in. Ooh, so true. When David sang in the Old Testament, the 23rd Psalm, he sang, The Lord is my shepherd. Wordbird, how do you say that name used to describe God? You mean Jehovah Rohi? <laughs> yes, that's it. Jehovah Rohi. The Lord is my shepherd. Shepherds keep what's good for you in, and they keep what's bad for you or against you out, just like rocks out and water in. Well, that reminds me of a song I learned. Jesus in and devil out. <laughs> right. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. so glad you're here. I'm so glad too. Isn't it beautiful in here? Yeah. It sure is. Yeah. Have you ever been afraid? Yeah. You have? Uh-huh. I've seen tomorrow. I'm just pretend I'm leaving. Oh, wait a minute. What? Um, one time my dolly got scared in a storm and I hugged her tight. Oh. Mama said it's good to be with someone when you're scared. And Jesus is with you just like a man in a well.
reveal to them who Emmanuel really is. The sweetness and the joy that you have for us, Lord. Soften our hearts, Lord, that we may know you more, that we may become more like you. Sweet, sweet Emmanuel. I've been missing you at church. I asked my parents if they would let me visit other churches around our town. They've been taking me everywhere on Sunday. You don't like our church anymore? Yes, I do. I just wanted to see how other churches worship and listen to how other people pray. You make it sound like it's really interesting. Did you meet any really weird people? What is really weird is that I haven't been watching the people at all. I found out that God is the same everywhere I go. Every church is unique in its own way, but the, the Spirit of God is the same everywhere I've been. God doesn't ever change. I really wasn't expecting to make that discovery. If you had been at church with me Sunday, you would have heard the pastor preach on Jehovah Shammah. He had on his pajamas? That's unique. No, no. Jehovah means God, and when you add Shammah, you get, God is there. Hmm. There's no telling what kind of object lesson our pastor will use next week. But you can be sure that I'll be there, too. Uh, I'm sure glad God will be there. Well, I don't know about you, but I know that my God is God. He's God everywhere. You can call me Billy, you can call me Blinky, you can call me Silly, you can call me Stinky, but just don't forget to call me for lunch. 
Now listen, Word Bird, we're eating with our friends from the Gospel International Network today, and, and I want you to behave yourself, and you know exactly what I mean. No onions? Oh, please. No way you're going to eat onions today because onions are just stinky and that's no way to make friends and keep peace with your new friends. Now, if you get tempted to eat an onion and I see that you're about to, I'm just going to holler over to you and go, Shalom! Well, go ahead and say so long right now because I just picked fresh onions. <laughs> Not so long. Word bird, Shalom means peace. When you say Jehovah Shalom, it means the Lord our peace. Peace? Onions don't come in pieces, they come in bites, and I know our friends will be glad for the fresh, aromatic onions which I've picked. No oh, word bird, don't be stinky. Shalom, shalom. No share. Oh. <laughs> such a wonderful artist. Well, you paint with your wings, and you see, I've been trying to figure out how to show a friend of mine. Well, I've been trying to show a friend of mine God. <laughs> it just seems that she just stares off into the darkness. She just can't, well, she just can't seem to see God. Ooh. Did you know that some of the animals and creatures in the woods change color just so that they cannot be seen? They change to blend in with what's around them. Why, some of the bugs look just like the leaves that they sit on. Vicki, I was painting on a leaf the other day, and suddenly my paint walked off. <laughs> walked off? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> did it leave a trail? <laughs> sure did. Well, I found my little piece of paint later, but, but I had to repaint that leaf. I bet that poor little bug had a hard time trying to blend in the rest of that day. Mm -hmm. hmm. I think I see what you're trying to tell me, Brightly. If I blend in, like, with the rest of the world, then my friend can't see Jesus, and that just won't make a difference in her life, will it? Mm -mm. Maybe if I try to do things exactly or especially around her like Jesus would, mm -hmm. maybe that would help her to be able to see Jesus better? <laughs> I think that's exactly right. Do you remember the leaf you had me to paint? I've got it right here. This is the same one, Brightly, and it's beautiful. Uh, I, in fact, I think she needs to see this one. Okay. I think she needs to hear what God has done in your life. That's it, Brightly. What a bright idea. <laughs> <laughs> 
I remember when God healed me from that, that sugar problem and now I can let my little light shine by just telling her about it and telling her how good God was to me, just like you drew in this picture. Ooh, exactly. <laughs> Don't keep her in the dark. Be sure to tell her that God is called Jehovah Rophe, the Lord who heals you. Brightly, I see where you got your name. Another bright idea. <laughs>
Are you ever going to tell me about the birthday party you went to? This is the third time I've asked you about it. Didn't you have any fun? I guess I might as well tell you what happened. You're just going to woo me again about it. <laughs> so what happened there? I ate cake. I ate ice cream. I played with a new birthday present. Oh, that sounds wonderful to me. Well, I got lost in the dark and I pinned the tail on Dolly's nose. Oh no, you didn't. They told me to lay Dolly down and play pin the tail on the donkey. <sighs> I didn't know they would blindfold me first. It was dark. They gave me a spin around and I walked down the hall in their big house. <gasps> By the time I crawled back toward their laughter, they had decided to hold up Dolly for me to push that pin into. Ooh, I'm so sorry, Lavish. They played a trick on you. You know, it's easy to get in trouble in the dark, but no matter how young or old you are. When I was crawling around in the hallway, I just kept my eyes open under that blindfold, hoping to see a little bit of light so I could figure out which way to go. I never did see any light. I only heard them laughing at me. When we are not sure what we're supposed to do or which way we are supposed to turn, we can follow God. What if we can't see God? How do we follow him? God is called Jehovah Moxie. That means, Jehovah means the Lord and Moxie means refuge. The Lord our refuge. When we follow God, we don't have to see him. He comes to us and gets all around us. He becomes our safe place, like a fence or a moat around a castle. God protects us from, from everything on every side. What about when it's dark outside? If I can't see him, can he see me? Oh yes, Lavish. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. I could understand that in the dark. When you have the light of the world shining or living in you, then your whole life is shining. <laughs>